What is up y'all? This morning we are over here at the flea market. We're gonna be looking for some fishing deals and steals. It is cold today, especially for Florida. It's in like the upper 30s this morning. It is freaking cold, dude. I've never been here before, but if there's any state in this whole United States that I think is gonna have some cool fishing stuff at the flea market, it's gonna be Florida. So let me stop talking about it. Let's get in there. I have a couple dollars. I think the goal today is to not reverse haggle myself. We're gonna find some deals hopefully. And I feel like every time I go to a flea market, somehow I end up reverse haggling myself. I don't know how that happens, but there could literally be anything in a flea market such as this. One man's trash could be our treasure. Let's get in there. Let's see what this place is all about. All right, so I think this is just a bunch of different vendors with a bunch of different random stuff. They have rubber ducks here, flexible flashlights, some bling. Yeah, we gotta find the fishing stuff. Well, that's not very friendly. Interesting. So they have these little pocket warehouse things. You got some paintings over there. That is not fishing. Huh. I'm not gonna lie, this place is a little desolate right now. I feel like on a normal day, wait, what? Oh, oh, wait, oh, I was gonna say on a normal day, I feel like this would be more popping. All right, if you turn this way. All right, so this was cool and super lucky we found this place. The uh, lady was sitting there hawking me in this tiny little shop. We had cannonballs and other leads for fishing purposes. They had fishing poles and uh, yeah, a lot of fishing poles, a lot. As y'all can see, this place is absolutely loaded. They had a ton of fishing gear and fishing lures. I know a lot of Florida fishermen love these mirror lures. We got some Strike King rattle traps and crankbaits, some more Florida lures, the DOA shrimps. I always check for tackle boxes like these, but they were empty. At uh, yard sales, they could be treasure chests. She had a lot of lead. I, I don't know if she's an avid metal detector person or something. Even more lures coming in. We have some lost loot lures that have a pirate on them. I don't know why I didn't grab one of those. The flea market fishing storage unit had a lot of secrets and uh, stuff I've never even seen before. And they had lead core line and fly line. We got a uh, big plastic starfire. A plethora of smaller jigs, including these made from calf hair. A baby cow. I looked around a lot. We grab some stuff. And hopefully, we'll catch some fish on it. All right. I'm not gonna lie, this place is popping. They have every single thing you could freaking imagine. I mean, I guess that's kind of what a flea market usually is. But they had so much stuff here. It's freaking crazy. We have one more section over here that we didn't check out. So far, it's only this one fishing ladies person stuff that's fishing. But we're gonna check out right over here. And, uh, yeah, man. See what else? I see some stuff over there, but I don't think it's for sale. Let's see. Let's keep hunting. See what I'm saying? Rip. There's some fishing rods right there. I wonder if it was warmer. There's some rods. If like all these people would be out. I mean, it's literally Kelsey and I are walking around, and my hands are freaking freezing. There's just fishing stuff over there, and then there's some rods all the way over there too. But it's literally like. I'm from Delaware and it's cold, so I can only imagine how these Florida freaking people feel, dude. What is up, y'all? This is more of what I'm talking about. It's the next day. It got really cold last night, but it's like in the mid 50s kind of ish today. We can see she's shining up there. It's not like super hot, but it's a lot freaking warmer than it was. All right, that's our RV down that way. I can see camper peeking out the window of the camper. So this is the uh, RV park we've been staying at here in Jacksonville. So this is a pretty nice little place. We actually stayed here last year. We were around this area. They have a hot tub, which uh, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I am a hot tub connoisseur. So we're probably gonna have to go in there later. Look at this, man. This is just Southern-esque. It's like a sick freaking mini palm tree yucca looking dude. No, I'm just going over there. You do any fishing over there? Yeah. Catch anything? I caught a bat big on like three pound bass on a hot dog. Oh, really? On a hot dog? Yeah. So they're in there, huh? Cool. Have a good day. Hey, you too. What a nice kid. Literally everybody at this RV park is so nice. And one of my favorite things to do when I'm walking around these parks is just look at other people's rigs. Like, look at this. That's a freaking nice. Oh, there's a little puppy in there. That's nice, dude. Whew, all right. So you might be wondering, why are you filming at the RV park? Look at this. 
This is a fishing pond just for people who are at this RV park. Catch and release only, no swimming. Alligators and snakes may be present. Let's take a look at this water real quick. I've passed this a couple of the days while I've been here. We've been on like little walks and stuff with camper. I have seen fish in here. I, I saw like two bass and it looked like they were spawning. Let's go over here real quick and take a peek. They were in super shallow-ish water. So I have never fished here before. Today, the mission is to hopefully freaking catch something out of here and to hopefully catch something on the stuff we got from the freaking flea market, which is really cool stuff to be honest. Like it's just stuff you can't get at any normal tackle shop. Like you can't just walk into Walmart or Dick Sporting Goods and pick up some of this stuff. And I've never used a lot of it too, so it's gonna be really cool to try it out. Oh, I just saw something swimming. I don't know what the heck that was. Hello, it gets very shallow over here. It looks like pollen all up on the water too. It's gonna to be weird though because like, as I said yesterday, it was just so cold. And I don't know how that affects these fish, especially, I don't even know what they're doing right now. With bass, you know, it helps if you know if they're like spawning or chilling or what the heck they're doing. All right, are they over here? Hello? Hey, make sure y'all are looking out for your boy too. If you see any alligators or snakes, don't, don't be afraid to scream, man. A sign is warning us. Really anywhere here in Florida, that's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. It's like the more south you get, the more danger. All right, I don't really see any fish in the shallow. Oh, wait, what was that over there? Looked like a panfish, super finicky when he saw me. All right, we're gonna go to deeper water, I think it's gonna be the move. All right, so uh, just like to paint a picture, that's where we were all the way down that way. It gets shallow. There's like this canal over here and then we're gonna walk over this way. I think there's a fountain and it's just a big circular, I think deeper body of water. So we're gonna try to really fish all of this. We just gotta figure out what the heck they're up to, man, or if they even wanna bite. This looks pretty good. So this goes around that way. There's a fountain over there and then back to the shallow. We're gonna plop it right here and uh, let's check out what we got from the flea market. Now, I don't know if I really showed you guys all too well. That lady in there was freezing though. That whole place had no heat. And y'all saw how cold it was yesterday. That lady was shivering, her dog was shivering. I felt so bad, man. So, oh yeah, all right, we got this. Rainbow frog action. This is a uh, fishing lure floating. I don't know what brand that is. Looks like some overseas Zing Zingwa. Interesting. I don't, I don't I don't think I'm gonna be throwing a frog today. Maybe I don't know. We got this dude right here This is a premium fishing tackle spin slash buzz. So there's a double bladed spinner bait Probably might be good probably will be good. My knees getting all muddy then we have oh, yeah no, see, This is really interesting to me the wawo or wahoo whatever it says fishing excitement crystal fry So these are calf hair jigs. So we've got an ultralight rod with us This literally is made with calf hair like do they give the calf a nice shape up and then they're like you know what you know what would catch fish <laughs> that's gonna be interesting and then these look so freaking cool too these are kind of like crappy jigs i forget what size these are it looks like 132 ounce maybe but it's got that sparkle on the back and yeah that's all ultra lady kind of stuff we've got this right here premium fishing tackle i feel like i don't really see this brand in stores ever is this like an older made in dominican republic oh so punta Corda, Florida, a Wahoo fishing product. Oh, so is this the same as, didn't I have another Wahoo? Yeah, 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 okay. So the calf hair is also Wahoo. All right, is this a normal spinner bait? No, this is a Florida spinner bait. We're fishing with it in Florida. Let's see how she looks here. Oh yeah. Oh dude, in this water especially. Ooh, I like that. Again, I don't know what these fish are doing, but if you drag this by a big old wonker, I can't see why you wouldn't hit it. Again, keep your eye out for a freaking alligator. Keep your eye out. <laughs> I see a big old Florida white bird over there. We're gonna fish this little cove right here. It feels really good. We're just gonna fish it straight out of the package too. Could put a trailer on it, a little paddle tail something, but let's see what we can do. Straight out the flea. 
Got it out the mud. You know, it's pretty crazy too. Like we've been here for a couple days now and I've been kind of focusing my efforts as you guys have been seeing on the saltwater fishing, but I have not seen anybody fish this pond at all. That kid told me he caught a fish on a hot dog. I just, I, I don't know. I feel like more people would be fishing. Maybe somebody will join us out here today. It's a really nice RV park though. Over there they got like ladder ball and they got dog park and stuff. Very nice. Hopefully they got 10 pounders as well. You know what, I was just thinking too, man. It's been a while since we just went straight up bass fishing. Especially these past couple days. I mean, I've been focusing so much, as I said, on the salt water. I just, like, salt water, I got a thing for salt water. Especially in Florida, it's so much fun, but there's just something about bass fishing too after not doing it for a while. <sighs> I really hope we can get on something. I got the scale with me too, so hopefully something of decent size. I should have grabbed, if I knew I was gonna be fishing here, I probably would have grabbed some kind of Maybe lipless or something. <sighs> Come on, fish. Maybe by the fountain? Question mark. I'm just trying to creep this thing around there. I, let me actually feel this water. You know, it's not super cold actually. I just feel like slower presentation is probably good because it was just so cold the past couple days, especially yesterday. They might not be all feeding all over the place. Really hope I don't get stuck on a and you guys, like, the worst possible enemy when you're fishing a fountain is those, like, little fountain lines that run through that actually, like, power the fountain. Dude, I've lost so many lures to those things. It's a good spot for fish to be, though, especially when it's really warm out. But uh, moving water any time of the year, really, is just usually a pretty good thing. Ooh, it is nice out, though. You know what I just remembered too, more than, maybe not more than, but more, like other than alligators and snakes, freaking fire ants, dude. Florida, oh my gosh. I, I literally just picked my backpack up and I forgot to even check. <laughs> that could have been bad. Those things are some cranky little ants, man. They will nip the crap out of you. All right, we're gonna go to this far side. I think it's getting hit more by the sun and maybe some science stuff is making it better. Hey, yo, I just saw a fish bust over here. I don't know what it was. Hello, is there life? You want a flea market spinnerbait? Oh, over there too, hold on. Is that just one fish or are we getting into some feeding stuff here? Some Florida geese right there. I wasn't gonna say it, but I'm gonna say it. This is a pond and a situation because of like how cold it's been and just Florida and stuff. Like I would probably normally, if I'm having like, you know, no bites on a bunch of different things, I'd probably fish this for a while more, but I'd probably switch to a Ned Rig. And we're not doing that today, man. I made a vow. We're gonna at least catch a fish on one of these things from our uh, flea market challenge. Y'all voice your opinions. And y'all said, you know what, when things get rough sometimes, especially in Delaware, which really sometimes I have no choice, but you guys are like, yo, stop using the Ned Rig so much. So we're going to tough it out and, uh, yeah, we're going to catch a fish on this bait and hopefully some other baits. 
just got to be patient and got to learn the bait more. I mean, how many times do I honestly throw a spinner bait? Like, you know what I mean? Not that I'm not normally patient, but today we're going to stick it out even longer. And I, I know I could get a fish to bite this. Hey, by the way, I don't know if I said this yet or not, but this rod reel that we're using, this is a Team Lose Light reel and a Team Lose Custom Light rod. It is super light, as in the name. I, I just freaking love it. You guys see me use it a bunch. So if you guys want anything off Lose, always remember down in the description below, there's a link and a code. And uh, yeah, it really helps support your boy. Also, man, if you could go down there real quick, just to get some good luck going out here, hit that thumbs up button. It really would mean a lot. It helps out the videos. And yeah, I really do believe when y'all smash it, it gives me a little bit of thumbs up. Or thumbs up, what the frick? It gives a little bit of uh, good luck. So, and I, I know you're sitting there too. Some of y'all probably like, ah, I'm just not gonna click it. Please, please, man. This is a body of water in Florida. There could be, literally any pond like this could potentially have a 10 pounder in it. Don't y'all want to see some guy from Delaware freaking flub a 10 pound bass and <laughs> shatter his heart. No, we're gonna catch it. If he's in here, we're gonna catch him. Yeah, sir. All right. Uh, we fished basically the perimeter of this whole pond. I even, there was like a grass line on the other side that was in the shade a little bit. It looks super juicy. I threw the frog a little bit. I mean, I figured like it's cold, but we're, we're in Florida. No luck on that. So right now we're busting open the calf hair. Look how tiny that is. What even weight is that? That is tiny. I'm going to try to put this on an ultralight. I'm going to go right over here where I saw some bait earlier. I'm hoping that some fish are hanging around the bait and, uh, See the calf hair? You cannot deny their thirst for some calf hair. <laughs> All right, so there she is. Basically, it's just a tiny marabou jig. It's got a nice eye on it. Let's get a little wet so we can cast it out a little further. Oh my gosh. All right, we're not gonna be able to get it out too far. All right, y'all, so after a few days of chilling out in Northern Florida, Kelsey and I have now driven down to my sister's house. So we're kind of in like the middle area of Florida now. That uh, RV park pond, it did not have it happen. And we're at a different pond here today, again, a different part of Florida. And I'm excited, man. Let's get out here. Let's see what we can freaking do. All right, so the only parking here, like all the spots are taking the visitor spots. So I had to park near the front. So hopefully everything should be good. We're gonna start over here though if you guys have watched the channel for a while you guys might recognize this pond right here and you also might recognize that it's freaking raining <laughs> not only is it raining it's freaking chilly out here man i mean it's in the 50s but florida has like wet air so it's just like a little chilly feeling we're gonna toss some stuff around and try to freaking catch something on these flea market lures at that last pond um basically i talked to two people who were staying there the fish there so they didn't even get a bite and one guy who works there and said that he has like never caught anything ever <laughs> so doesn't seem like it was the best pond <sighs> we'll check the spinner bait around here a little bit there's no wind so we don't have that going for us but you never doubted I feel like fish will bite the spinner weight in all kinds of conditions, hopefully. And uh, hopefully they're not pushed out way into the middle of the pond because it's been so cold. Even cold here, dude. Apparently yesterday it was like in the 30s in the morning, all the way down here in Florida. So we'll start off with this, then we'll go smaller if need be and maybe pond hop even more. I'm gonna finish this challenge. We're gonna finish this challenge. Hopefully not get eaten by a gator. I'm certain there's 
some big ones in here. One time I caught a pretty big freaking fish out of here. Well, there's also a bunch of dinks, or at least during warmer days, the dinks are usually pushed up. You hit this like perfect timing. It was just pouring right before this. And it's supposed to rain all day. So I was just prepared to come out here and just get completely freaking soaked. But we might be like having a little luck here. What was that, the bottom? Whoa. You know what's actually crazy? And I, I'm not like, I have nothing to complain about, by the way. But I think since we've been down here in Florida, maybe like a little over a week now, there's been one like kind of Florida day out of this whole thing. Like it, it was like 75 degrees the one day and everything else. And we did have one day that was like in the 60s. Everything else has been so cold. Like for Florida, like it feels like right now I'm in Delaware in the winter. So I'm sure these Florida fish are just like not digging it. There's a freaking fish. There's a fish. Oh no, my God. I was not even. Oh. I was crawling it across the freaking bottom. Oh. Either we're gonna go back to the car. This is another pond, by the way. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just the greatest, greatest fisherman of all time at this point. It was a decent sized fish. I guess I could have had my drag a little looser there. But I, I was just super, super light line on that. <sighs> Excuses. Oh, <laughs> well, let's toss the spitter bait in here a little bit. I think a smaller bait definitely might be the wave. I gotta go get some. That was not the calf hair, that was the other one, like the sparkly dude. So we have one more of the sparkly dudes left. Oh. <sighs> On the ultralight too, that thing felt freaking good, dude. What was that? Hey, yo. Look at these palm trees, though. We're back and we're in business. So, yeah, this is what I was throwing. I kind of want to throw this back on. But also, eh, calf hair jig. Let's try this again real quick, just because, I mean, it kind of worked, sort of. Sort of, kind of. Literally just kind of working this like a Ned rig. I mean, it's just so cold. If I work it like a normal like marabou jig, they're just not gonna, you know, probably chase it. Just got bit. There's a freaking fish. There's a freaking fish. There's a freaking fish. I do not care what it is. That is a freaking fish, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, please tell me I record. All right, this is, yeah, dude, you need to eat. What the, hold on. My hands are like f actually frozen. <laughs> Look at that right top of the mouth, actually. Calf 
hair does it. This, I believe, is just a bluegill, right? Pretty dude right there. Look at that. Pretty freaking, oh my gosh. That is not just normal bluegill. Look at the tail. What is this? That is one of the prettiest fish I've ever caught. Hold on, I need to take a picture of that. If that's a bluegill, that's a freaking handsome devil. All right, cool, dude. I'll pop this guy back in. I mean, look at the white on the end of his tail, too. That is freaking awesome. Get back in there. Don't tell the others. Ah! Holy crap, I've been focusing on, you can see there's reeds here, there's tree over there, there's tree over there where we hooked the other fish. I've just been trying to focus on structure where maybe, you know, something would be hiding out. <sighs> that is freaking sick. I don't care how big it is. I don't care what it is. We did it, man. Let's see if we can get anything else over here. Or if that was the only dude that was biting me. I'm very happy. If you guys could go down there, hit that thumbs up button. We will go to, there's actually a flea market around this area of Florida. We'll go to that. We'll uh, maybe do something else as far as picking the lures go. But uh, yeah, man, do another flea market challenge. All right, appreciate y'all for watching this video. If you could go down there, hit that thumbs up. Would be very appreciated. I'm in my sister's garage right now. But I do have to say, man, if you guys are not already, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, notification bell turned on. I know, uh, yet again, <laughs> wasn't the freaking craziest day of days of fishing, I guess, but I think it'll get better from here. Either way, I mean, just being out there, enjoying the outdoors, this is what it's all about. And in a future video, you guys will have to see a sneak peek. This box is about to change some things. And we also have a box over there in that corner and just, just be patient. Again, I appreciate the heck out of you guys for watching this video. As always, thank y'all for all the support. Let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.